And welcome back once again to the Ask Dr. Mather Show alongside Dr. Brian Mather in Spokane, Washington. I'm Dave Erickson. Today's topic has to do with the IT band. Uh, a lot of people use that term. Maybe they don't know what it means exactly, but they've heard that maybe you have an IT band issue if your knee hurts. Dr. Mather, what is it and uh, how do people have this issue? Uh, great question, Dave. The IT band uh, is basically a big, uh, broad, thick band of tissue that runs down the side of your leg from your hip down to your knee. Uh, it, it helps to stabilize uh, that leg from uh, in lateral motion. And it's a very common injury that we see uh, in, in active people. Uh, people will get sore, they'll get knee pain where the IT band inserts down at the knee, or sometimes they'll get hip pain back up uh, at the beginning, at the start of the IT band. Um, and often you'll see a lot of people, uh, they'll get their foam rollers out and they will be rolling their IT band. It's a very common thing that people do after uh, a workout or when they're having this problem. Uh, the challenge is um, it's really not a, a ligament or it's not a piece of tissue that you should technically be rolling out in my opinion. And I know a lot of people will probably raise their eyebrows and go, wait a second, that's, that's what I was told to do. Uh, the thing about the IT band is, is it is a piece of connective tissue, it's not a muscle. So when you're rolling it out, if that's inflamed, it would be the equivalent of having a sprained ankle and deciding to foam roll a, a sprained ankle. Uh, and, and so it doesn't make a lot of sense. What makes sense is rolling out the muscles that uh, are coming up to the IT band. So for example, your lateral quad you can absolutely roll that out on a foam roller, great way to do it. Uh, the hamstring, the lateral hamstring, the biceps femoris as it's called, another uh, muscle that you should be rolling out, but to roll directly over the top of the IT band on the lateral part of the leg, uh, it'll cause you a lot of pain and discomfort, which most people that have ever rolled out their IT bands will relate to, that it's, a, it's very uncomfortable. Um, the thing that really causes the IT band to get irritated is generally two things. Your sacroiliac joint, which is the joint in your pelvis, will get locked into place and it won't function correctly. And that will cause uh, tightening of the gluteal muscles, specifically gluteus uh, maximus and medius. And those muscles come around and attach to the backside of the hip. And when they tighten, they're going to tug and pull on that IT band. So often, the pain that you're experiencing in the lateral leg or down at the, at the knee where the IT band attaches it's not really the problem. The problem stems back into the pelvis and into the, the gluteal muscles. So sometimes we have to activate the glutes. Sometimes we have to uh, do strengthening exercises for the glutes. We have to manipulate or adjust chiropractically the SI joint. And that's the best way to address the IT band issue. What about uh, ice therapy or ice massage therapy? Yes, ice will work really well because it's a, uh, a piece of tissue that gets inflamed and agitated. Ice is a great way to calm that down. So I would you know, I would promote uh, ice instead of foam rolling. And again, I'm not saying don't foam roll the leg at all. Just don't foam roll directly over the IT band, especially when it's sore and, and agitated. I don't think you're going to get the results you're really after. Is there an athletic activity that people do that causes this most often? If you're a, a runner, for example, would you most, most likely have this versus maybe a cyclist? Um. Yes, I think we definitely see it more in, in running athletes as opposed to a cycling athlete, um, but because uh, it's related back to the pelvic mechanics and your gluteal control, uh, which we've talked about in previous videos, uh, it's, it's a problem that seems to really affect almost all athletes, so uh, rarely will you come across an athlete that hasn't had IT band issues. Um, and again, it's it's going back to the pelvic mechanics and, and the gluteal control. That's the key to resolving the IT band issues. So just staying off it or not ignoring it, but uh, not addressing it, will it go away or do you have to take some action? Generally, uh, you have to take some action. Now, if you ignore it and you, and you, you leave it alone, the soreness will go away. Um, statistics show that pretty much any type of pain, if you uh, leave it long enough, the pain will go away in 80% of the cases. But 80% of those cases, the pain will recur. So by ignoring it and, it and letting it go away, it's going to come back and it's going to come back in more frequently. And the more it comes back, the more challenging it is to actually resolve and usually the more pain and discomfort you're having. And in an athlete, eventually it's going to shut you down and you're going to uh, have to take some time off from training. So addressing it early usually gives you the opportunity to continue to train through it and compete through it. Is it possible to only have it on one side of your body or can it happen on both sides? Because it okay. sounds like it's an imbalance issue. 
Correct. It absolutely can happen on both sides. Most of the time we are going to see it present on one side or the other, but I have definitely seen it when it gets really agitated and people have really uh, let it go, hoping that it would get better on its own, and then it develops on the other side, and, and so the, the, the pain and dysfunction is twice as bad. Very educational, Dr. Mather. Thanks very much. If you have a question for Dr. Mather, use the hashtag AskDrMather on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. Thanks very much, sir. Thank you.